From San Quentin State Prison, death row inmate Kevin Cooper has been claiming innocence for decades, speaking out in a phone interview earlier this year. They planted evidence. They destroyed evidence. They lied about evidence. Cooper is on death row for murdering four people in 1983. All were found hacked and stabbed to death in this house amid the horse country of the Chino Hills. Now on Christmas Eve, a last minute order from Governor Jerry Brown allowing for new DNA testing on key pieces of evidence, including a hatchet and a T-shirt his lawyers say was tampered with. I know I never had that shirt, I never wore that shirt, I never saw that shirt. But prosecutors say the evidence was solid. Cooper, an escaped convict, had a history of violence, and the case has been re-examined again and again. Cooper losing numerous appeals. There is no doubt in my mind that this is the person that committed those crimes. But the case continues to draw the scrutiny of former judges, politicians, and celebrities, pointing to the initial description from the sole survivor of three white men as the attackers. Impossible evidence pointing to other suspects, like bloody coveralls that were thrown away. With current uh, DNA testing technology, we think that we'll be able to show that he's innocent. Cooper, currently awaiting execution, now also waiting for new DNA testing that could reopen a decades-old case. Gotti Schwartz, NBC News, Los Angeles. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.